दिस इज द एपिसोड सिक्स एंड टुडे वी आर कवरिंग बॉटम नैब बार और मोबाइल नैब बार एंड यू आई डिजाइन तो स्टार्टिंग विद द बेसिक क्वेश्चन वट इज अ नैब बार सो इट इज अव आई एलिमेंट दैट कंटेन थ्री टू फाइव मेन सेक्शन और द मेन पार्ट ऑफ एनी एप बाई विच यूजर कैन नेविगेट और स्विच बिटवीन ऑल दीज थिंग्स लाइक ऑन इंस्टाग्राम वी हैव द होम बटन दैन वी हैव द एक्सप्लोर बटन वी हैव द एड बटन वी हैव द रील्स बटन एंड वी हैव द प्रोफाइल सेक्शन सो वी पुट द मेन एलिमेंट ऑफ द एप इन दिस we cannot put random elements like, like the settings page we cannot attach the settings page in nav bar we put the most important element like the most important element of app or a website in this now let's look at some of the main element of nav bar first of all we have the icon container like it contains the icon and the label then we have the icon and the label then we have the icon spacing and when it comes to the touch area it's the whole container like this whole box like user can click anywhere on the icon container user don't have to click exactly on the icon or the label to open that tab or switch to that tab user can click anywhere on this icon container and we have five to three icons in this and we, in this we mainly have three states first one is the active state you can see that home button is active then all the remaining elements are inactive or they are on their default state and in the third state we show a red dot or the message count in this case if there was a notification then we can show either here a small red dot or, or a dot with count like 2 3 4 to show the number of activities it have and we never disable any element in nav bar because that gives the feeling that this app is incomplete which will affect the user experience negatively for the user and it's not a good thing now next thing we have is the type and different designs of bottom nav bar we have different designs like first one is from material design 2.0 and if you don't know what material design it's it's a design system released by google and majority of the google apps use this design system like except youtube but if you take other apps like google search google chrome or google clock app or phone or google dialer they all look same because they are using a particular design system now we have two versions of material design first one is a material design 2.0 then second one is a material you you google released this version few years ago now in the material design we have a simple colored icon here which shows the active state and this icon is filled like it's in the fill state now this is a stroke icon this is also a stroke icon This is also a stroke icon. Now this is a filled icon. And in the material design 3.0, we have a like we say background or the rectangle in the active state. We don't use like fill icons in this. We are using fill icons to show the active state. Then third one we have is the no icon nav bar. Now it's not recommended to use nav bar without labels because user will not be able to understand by just the icon. Like if you just look at these five icons, like you cannot tell what this icons mean. Like this is a cash icon or something like that. Like this is a history button or the stats or this is a profile section or my groups or any other feature of the app. You cannot tell that user will not be able to understand that thing. So always add a icon. Although we don't have labels in Instagram, but Instagram is a very different thing. You have to add labels in your app always. Okay. Then next we have is the Fab nav bar. Now Fab means floating action button. And if you want to know about buttons, go watch the previous video. In that I have covered every single property of buttons you should know as a beginner. Now when we attach the Fab button in the nav bar, now Fab button is the main feature of the app. Like in the video editing or photo editing app, the plus button is the main element, or the edit button is the main element. So in that case, you can use the Fab nav. But if you are working on any other app, Like a e-commerce website, so we don't have that much important section of the app. Like all the sections contain same hierarchy. Like we have the explore option or the home button. Then we have the search and the profile, like my orders or my cart. They all have the same hierarchy or importance in the app. So you should use this fab nav bar very carefully because it takes too much attention. Then next we have is the chip nav bar. Again, it looks good, but it's not recommended because the label is hidden in this case. User will not understand it. And similarly, we have the chip nav bar variant too. Again, it's not recommended. Then you can use this thing like an academy also uses some. Something like that. And I don't know the name of this version, but you can use this because it contains both the icon and the label. And we also have an active element here. They are not just using the fill icon and color to show the active state. They have also added an element to show the active state. And whenever you are designing your navbar, always use a fill icon for your active state. It's like they have did this in the example. The next version is also not recommended because in this the label is visible only for the active icon. Again, this is not recommended. You should always add both icon and label in all the states or all the elements we have. Next, we have some important properties and things you should remember while designing a navbar. Like in the beginning of video, I told you the minimum number can be three and the maximum number can be five. Like the number of icons you can put there, and you should never disable any option in the navbar. All the options should be clickable and. Active sections of the nav bar. Yeah, if some section of the app is not released yet, and if you don't have much options to show in nav bar, then what you can do is you can make that section clickable. When user when user will click on that icon, then on that page you can show that this section will be launching soon, or this section is currently not available. But don't disable the icon in the nav bar. 
नेक्स्ट थिंग इज योर नेव बार शुड भी फिक्स इन पोजिशन इट शुड नॉट बी स्क्रोलेबल विद अदर एलिमेंट लाइक वेन यूजर विल स्क्रोल ऑन द स्क्रीन इट शुड भी फिक्स इन द बॉटम पार्ट नो लेट सी हाउ टू डिजाइन एन नेव बार ऑल दो दिस इज नॉट अ फिगमा वीडियो आई एम जस्ट कवरिंग द फ्योरी पार्ट इन दिस वीडियो बट आई विल शो यू वेरी बेसिक वर्जन ऑफ नेव बार यू शुड ऑलवेज क्रिएट यू नेव बार विद यूज ऑफ प्रॉपर कॉम्पोनेट्स एंड ऑटो ले आउट एंड इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट ऑटो ले आउट इन कॉम्पोनेट्स आई विल क्रिएट अ फिगमा कोर्स इन फ्यूचर इन डिटेल इन दट आई विल कवर इन डिटेल अबाउट ऑल दीज प्रॉपर्टीज और फीचर्स ऑफ फिगमा For now, I will show you a very basic version. Now, to create the nav bar, we need two things. First one is the active state icon. Like we have this thing here. I have colored that thing with the primary color of our app. You can either use the primary color of the app for the active state, or you can use the darkest color in your color palette for the active state. And always use filled icon for the active state. Here we have both versions of the icon, like the outline version and the filled version. And the thing you have to add is the label. Simply type all the labels, and the label size will be. 10 pixels or 12 pixels if the label size is very big like if the label is colliding like if in this case like if the label is colliding with the sibling label then you can obviously decrease the size to 12 pixels or sorry 11 pixels or 10 pixels it will work fine now to create this thing we have to simply arrange all our icons and labels here now in the inactive state the font weight will be medium or regular and in the active state we will increase the font weight by 1 px or the 1 level sorry like in inactive state we used medium so we will use semi bold here now what you have to do is simply select all your labels and choose this option like this here okay first one now what it will do is it will fix the width like if like if the width is more than it will fix the width like if i click here it will fix the width then what you have to do is simply select both of them and press shift a to add auto layout do the same with this and the icon size will be 24 pixels and icon will be inside a container and if you don't know about icons i will create a separate video about icons like how you should size and space icons here but for now let's see the basics the icon will be inside a 40 pix sorry 24 pixels container now after adding auto layout to all of them let me check i have added all of them now we will rename them for that i will select both of them and press control r or command r in if you are on mac and simply type home okay Now to create all the states, I will arrange the icons. I will simply select all of them. Let's delete this one and copy this one. You can copy it by simply selecting and holding down Alt and drag. Or if you are on Mac, you can hold down Option key and drag. Now I will select all of them and choose the center align option. Now and the spacing between icon and the label will be two pixels. Or you can go with four pixels if it works for you. But I will not recommend you to go with four pixels. Now you have to select all of them and add another auto layout or you can press shift a again if you have selected all of them it will add another auto layout the width will be variable we cannot change the width because width depends upon the screen width now the spacing between all these things will be 0 pixels make sure that the auto layout direction is horizontal and in this case the auto layout direction is vertical okay i will select it make sure that you have selected the light layer and let me rename it to nav bar bar now i will select this and type the width 360 pixels for this video all the width is not fixed you have to change the width according to the screen size now you have to check either all the properties are here zero and we will give a height of 56 pixels the height of navbar is 56 pixels for this version of navbar there are other designs of navbar like the material 3.0 design navbar that version of navbar have completely different size and spacing but for this we will go with the height of 56 pixels okay then i will press enter and make sure that you have selected all of the elements once you have pressed enter and if it's not you can select it by simply holding down control and click on every single element and then go to this option like we have this option here choose fill container and for the height also choose fill container now our navbar is ready you have to simply select it and add the fill color and you can resize it according to your screen size and it will work fine and this is a very simplified version of navbar we actually create this thing with the advanced properties of figma like variants uh, proper boolean properties and all that stuff i will create a separate course of figma in which i will tell in detail about all the properties of figma and how to properly use them and tell me in the comments in which language you want the course to be either hindi or english i will create the course in any one language so comment down below and this was for this video and if you learned something new please like the video that helps me a lot and see you in future bye